Today, I'm going to show you how to render your animation in still images and then sequence them together in the video editor. And this means that if you have a long animation or it crashes halfway through, you can continue rendering from the last frame and you won't lose any of your progress. So open up Blender and open the animation that you're going to render. So this is the one I have now. Now go to the Render tab here and scroll down to Output. So first of all, give it a location where you want to save it at. Now here, click and select the file type you want to use. I usually use JPEG because the quality difference isn't that big between that and PNG, and it saves you a lot of space on your computer. You can now set the number of samples to whatever you want and set the resolution to whatever you want. Today, I'm going to use full 1080p HD. When you're ready, hit animation, and it'll render each frame separately. So I'm also going to show you another advantage of rendering to JPEGs, which is this. Um, I've rendered as many frames as I need, and nothing else is going to happen. So I can stop rendering now, and that won't corrupt my final movie file. So I'm going to press Escape to cancel the render and to save my progress. And now we're going to put all those JPEGs together to make a movie. Now you can do this in the same file or another file, but I'm going to make a new Blender file and here go down to Video Editing. Now hover your mouse over this window, press Shift A to add Image, and go to where you rendered out your images. So I've navigated to the folder where I've rendered my still JPEGs. I'm going to press A to select everything and enter to add them. Now I'll change this to Properties, increase it to the same resolution as your images, and just zoom in here with the scroll wheel. Now you can press Alt-A to see your animation. Now all we have to do is change the end frame to the end frame of the animation that was rendered. And you can tell that from here, which tells us that there are only 128 rendered frames. So if you press Shift and right, you can see that you're on the, on the last frame now, and there's nothing after that. So now, if you press Alt-A, it'll run through the animation, and then it'll loop back again. Save this file, and I'm going to save it inside the folder with all the renders. And I give these a name like Sequencer, because it tells me that I'm sequencing images together with this file. And then scroll down, select the output. If you press forward slash twice, then this will just export into the folder that the blend file is located in. Now, change this to a movie. And I'm going to use H.264. And I'll save the file one last time with Command S or Control S. And now if you press Animation, it'll put everything together to make a movie file. So now you can navigate to that same folder that you rendered this output video in. Right click and open it in any video player that supports that file type. And then there you have your finished video file. Thanks for watching. I really hope you found that useful. There's a new Movie Motion video every Saturday, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss those. And support me on Patreon if you want to help me make more videos.